Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid That Joy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review the 12th book in the Wolf Girl series by Ando. This one is Shadows and Secrets. For those of you who are unfamiliar, this is an ongoing middle fiction serial. It is an action adventure series and we follow Gwen and her pack of dogs as they navigate the invasion of her home. So the blurb says, when Gwen discovers her dad has escaped from Snake Dungeon in Winter Hill, she and her pack race to the town, desperate to find out whether her mum is still being held there. But when they arrive, they realize the Braxons are watching them. And when they split up, the dogs start disappearing. Gwen isn't sure who she and her pack can trust in Winter Hill. Will they find a way to Snake Dungeon? And if they do make it, who will be waiting for them? So Ando is the author of this book. This book is also heavily illustrated as always by Jeremy Lee. As it says in the blurb, Gwen gets a clue that her father has been held within Winter Hill. She sees his photo on a wanted poster because he's escaped from the dungeon and she decides to check and see if her mum is there before she goes after her dad. When she gets to Winter Hill, it is really tricky to stay under the radar. Winter Hill is a town that has accepted the invading force in order for their safety. And so they're playing by the rules, but there are a few people and a few allies within town that Gwen didn't realize were there, who are able to help her sneak into Snake Dungeon, where she learns a little bit more about her enemy, but also finds out that her mum isn't there. And so she needs to keep looking. This series is always really fast paced. My favorite thing is always the dogs and Sunrise, the wolf who just, when they talk to Gwen, they just sound like dogs would sound. It's, it's the only way I can describe it. But in this, Gwen and the dogs face a number of challenges. They also have to face some fears, including many, many, many snakes, not my favorite thing ever, and make it out alive in order to continue the hunt and the search for the rest of Gwen's family. Being a serial, it has enough of a resolution to wrap up the story in this particular book, but a cliffhanger to lead you into the next book in the series. We get one of these every couple of months at the moment, and it is a fun series that kids do enjoy because they know the characters, they know the plot line, and they kind of know the structure of how the story is going to go. So that does make it a comfortable read, but it's by no means a simple read. There's plenty of really great language in here, particularly around adventure stories, which adventure stories are really difficult to do and to keep engaging over a long running series. So well done to Ando for keeping that interest level high. Thank you again to the publisher, Alan and Unwin for sending me the review title. I have been reviewing these now for quite a while and I do appreciate it because th this is a very popular series that a lot of kids really do enjoy reading. In the description down below, I will leave links to where you can find out more information about this book. The author, if I can find some information about the illustrator, I will do that as well, as well as the publisher. If you have read any of Ando's books, feel free to let me know down below. Are you reading the Wolf Girl series? I'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, feel free to let me know any books that you have been reading and loving, particularly if there are any adventure stories for middle fiction readers that you can recommend. If you want to let me know that you're here, but you don't leave a comment, feel free to leave a wolf emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.